Hey everyone, this is Sorry, the first violin part. I'm going to walk you through this part. This is a really cool part. It's an action-packed, rhythmic uh, part for this tune. And, you know, in order to make this really successful, everything needs to stay down in the, in the lower half to frog area and has to be really, um, really short. So I'm going to walk you through uh, basically the whole piece because I think it's just, it's, it's all action-packed. Uh, so, um, if we look at this opening, I've changed the bowing. I think it works better if you tie the first notes, the first four notes, and then come up. It's a, it's a tongue twizzler, so just be careful you're getting 0, 1, 3, 4. Um, and then when you get to measure 4, the end of measure 4, that has to be really clear. We can't have the eighth notes. We can't have any of that. It needs to be short. Okay. And, um, okay, so then coming up on measure six, we've got this rhythm. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. It's a good syncopation. Get it in your ears. Listen to the recording that I've put on the assignment, and, um, and that'll be fine uh, as long as you just internalize that rhythm. Um, then at measure 11, we have that little ba -da -dum -bum -ba -da -dum, okay? Coming up on the triplets, again, use your fourth finger, which I don't have to tell you, but I'll tell you anyway. Okay, so keep that nice and tight. Don't use a lot of bow. And then at measure 18, really short. Okay, now 21 is going to be the interesting little thing um, because what's written here is not how Justin is singing it, but if you know the song and you, um, you can really sort of internalize how he has that groove going, um, I think that sounds better than what they've written out here. What they've written is correct, um, but it's just not sort of how he does it. He does it with more of a triplety feel instead of these sixteenths going on. So I'll play it for you. Okay, so that's, I don't think he actually sings it that way. I think he sings it more like... Oh, sorry. It's nasty there. I'll try and practice that real quick. Um, and then, okay, so you've got that little rhythm. Um, I've changed the bowing at measure 28. Beat 3 is down up. And then everything else you've sort of seen before. Then coming up in the top part, this is a divisi part, meaning that the outside person plays the, the stems that go up. The inside person plays the stems that go down. I do need people on both parts, so you should be able to play either part. In case somebody's absent, you can move around, you can jump on it. Just make sure the bottom part has C sharps in it. We want to have, and use your fourth fingers, okay? So I'm not going to really play uh, that bottom part because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But when you get to measure 34, you want to take your time on this. Sorry. And now I said to leave the bow on the string. So we can do a mezzo piano there. So I was just getting a little excited on that. Uh, then you've got the triplets. Needs a fourth finger. Uh, be careful at measure 43. Okay, and then, um, then the very last note, you want to make sure that's uh, really short. Okay, keep that short. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to take it up to tempo, and I'll just play along for you. And if you want to play along, jump in. Here we go. Let's see if I can keep it up to tempo. Here we go. Two, three, four, one.
one. Have fun with that one. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.